kutembea maombi u yasikie e bwana ni pa
Bwana ukaweze kuwasimamia katika kila jambo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana wa Mungu liye hai. Ni kweli kabisa mama amewaacha lakini Bwana umewakaribisha kwako. Utawapalisha. Bwana utaweza kuwatunza katika kila jambo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana wa Mungu liye hai. Familia ikaweze kuelewana na mbele. Wako kaweze kuwa na imani katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wale ambao watawabariki Bwana utaenda kuwabariki. Wale ambao watapikana na wao, Bwana utaenda kupikana na wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana wa Mungu liye hai. Waongoze na walinde na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana na mokosi tumeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. Bwana
Kati Mungu Mbeleza ko Nataka niwe msafi Mungu Mbeleza ko Niti ya mbiza ko Unazo Nyamuru kutenda Nipende watu Na uo Upendo wa roho Mana nataka Nifike Minguni Nimuone mungu Alie Nihumba Nimuone Yesu Alie Niokoa Wadamu yake Tumesema ni asandi kwa mkizi wako na kwa uweza wako Mana umesimama pamoja nasi wakati tulipo anza safari Ya kusafiri kutoka machakos mpaka bakanisani Mana ni nakuoma neno lako palo tuenda kulisikia siku ya leo Mana ikawese kumbadilisha mewe yetu Ikawese kutupa tumaini Ikawese kutujenga Katika nchina na yesu kuzo mwana wa mungu liye hai Tamalaki mali yapa Kusako sikawese kuonekana mali yapa Anza pamoja nasi buwana Kwa nasi katika uwaja huu Na ni katika nchina na yesu kuzo liye buwana na mokozi Tumeomba na ata kwa mini Ime Ime Baba uu Nataka niwe msafi
kwa sana kwa haya wasema ni asante jioba kwa kutupa jioba neema siku ya leo hata kwa ajili ya kubariki wale walikuwa jioba machakos na safari njema tukuka ukiwa katika kiti chako cha enzi jioba ni asante kwa kupitia kila mmoja jioba akiwa mzima tunaomba kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu wa milele na milele usie shindwa baba ukatuunganishe siku ya leo na upendo wako ukatutumia malaika wako ukiwa katika kiti chako cha enzi jioba malaika wa ulinzi malaika wa baraka malaika wa kunena nasi jioba na wakunena na kila mmoja katika hii afra ya leo tunaomba kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo kwanza tukitubu dhambi zetu jioba kwako iposa ukatusikie Baba kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo nambarikisha yeyote mwenye atashikilia katika kila njambo kwako Mungu Baba. Naomba uwepo jioba wako na Roho Mtakatifu ndani ya kila mmoja hata ndani ya jioba programa MOC na pastors wote na pastors lady reverend hata bishop mwenye tuko naye tukuka ukiwa katika kiti chako cha enzi. Wasema ni asante kwa kuwa ni mwanzo. Tukiona mwisho Tukumbushe kukurudishia shukrani kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo mwaminifu tumeomba na kuamini Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asandi Yesu maana wewe ni Mungu na hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe hakika tumeona mkono wako Bwana Bwana ninakuomba ili ukawese kuwafariji ukawese kufariji wajukuu ukawese kufariji vitukuu hata vilembwe Bwana 
Nina kuomba ili ukaweze kuwafariji katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu liye ai. Tunakukaribisha mali aba Bwana ili ukaweze kutawala katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Uwepo yes. wako ukaweze kuonekana mali hapa. Bwana tunakuomba ili ukaweze kutushikilia. Oh, yes. Shikilia wote ambao wamethobika oh, katika jina la oh, Yesu Kristo. Yes. Kama laki mali hapa. Bwana tuongoze. Oh, yes. Tunahitaji uwezo wako. Oh, yes. Tunahitaji nguvu zako. Oh, yes. Tunahitaji uongozi wako. Oh, yes. Tunahitaji mwangaza wako. Bwana oh, siku ya leo Mm. Tukiwa katika uwanja huu wa kanisa Bwana oh, yes. nena nasi kupitia kwa kiongozi wetu Bwana yes. wa Mungu ninakuomba damu ya Yesu ikaweze kufanya kazi siku ya leo mm. wale ambao wameshikwa na mateka yes. na yule mofu shetani mm. nimetangaza kufunguliwa nimetangaza uwezo wako oh, yes. nimetangaza nguvu zako oh, yes. katika jina yeah, yes. la Yesu Kristo Oh, yes. Tulinde na tuongoze. Oh, yes. Na ni katika jina mm. la Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana mm. na mokosi tumeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. 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 Nolina and Natasha, thank you for joining us from US and others from Mombasa and all over the world. May God bless you. Nataka kumwalika Moses, Pastor Moses, aweze kusoma geology ya Susu Naomi. Karibu Moses. Ta soma geology. Mimi ni mjukuu wa shosho na nitakuelekeza tu katika yoloji katika lugha ya Kiingereza naamini kila mtu apo na kopi uh, ya yoloji hii so nitaanza na bath the late naomi gatuma mwangangi was born in 1913 at limo village ukia located in makueni district she was third born to the late masila monove the late Mone Masila and stepmother Tondola Lulu Masila. She was sister to late Mudei Kamu, late Nguna, Masila, late Ndulu, Kiswi, Mwelu, Mula, David Masila, John Masila, and Sami Masila. Marriage. Naomi was married to her beloved husband, the late Mwangangi Kyunguti Kiti. Uh, they were blessed with five daughters, late Motio Masinde, Alice Munyiva and Let Mbide Mwangangi. Alice Mudio and Kaluma Kalumaiti. Uh, Pastor Kalumaita, sorry. Uh, Pastor Winfred Bundi. She was blessed with three sons in law, namely Let Jacob Masinde, Let, Let Joseph Musyoka, and Atman Maladi. She was blessed with 30 grandchildren, namely Henry, Lorraine, Jimmy. Sao, Bernard, Kennedy, Sami, Moses, Raphael, Jennifer, Najma, Ali, Anas, uh, the late Moses, Niva, Kalunde, and Nduku, among many others who were their spouses. She had 30 great grandchildren, namely Natasha, Gave, Sasha, Cindy, Maya, uh, Maya, Brian, Masinde, Elizabeth, Nashon, Samuel, Cyrus, Wangari, uh, Maureen, Jasta, Abigail, Elvis, and Damaris Masinde, among others. Let Susu Naomi had 12 great, uh, great grandchildren, namely Vabian, Muho, and others. Work. She worked as a, spa, uh, as a house manager in several places in Nairobi and retired. After her retirement, she became a tenacious business lady, uh, Christian Jani. The late Susu Naomi received the Lord Jesus Christ as personal savior in 2010 and was led in prayer of confession by Apostle Jairus Chichete. She joined Faith Mission Commission Church and was later water baptized on 1st February 2015. She continued faithfully in fellowship and hope in her home as a house of fellowship for midweek Bible studies. She was a strong pillar in FMCC Church and champion church construction project that is currently ongoing. Susu indeed loved the, uh, the Lord and walked a life worthy, the Lord's calling with eagerness to learn more of the scripture. On 15 October 2023, as the family fellowship of FCC visited the late uh, Susu Naomi, she shared great words of wisdom on family life that 
was recorded as enigma for generations, generations to come, a masterpiece, illness. So Tsunami has been ailing from high blood pressure and diabetes for the last 48 years. She lived a very healthy life by managing the condition with medication and various hospital visits. On 28 November 2023, she became ill and was admitted at Bishop Kyoko Hospital in Machakos Town for two weeks until 13th December when she was promoted to glory. Even in illness, she maintained courage and great hope. May her soul rest in eternal peace. God bless you all. I welcome uh, Gabriel to give us the first reading and Nashon to give us the second reading. Thessalonians chapter 14 to 17, it says, We believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that Jesus, that we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him, according to the Lord's own word. We tell you that we who are still alive, we are left till the coming of the Lord. We we'll certainly not predict those who have fallen asleep, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven and with a loud command, with the voice of the arranged angels, and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After, after that, we, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to reach the Lord in the air. And so we will be the Lord forever. Amen. God bless his word. Thank you. Revelation chapter 21 verse 1 to 8 says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no, no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with him, and, and, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall sweat shall weep away all tears from all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the for the former things were passed away. And he and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And and he said unto me, Write, write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said and he said unto, unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thrust of the foundation of the water of life freely. And, and he that overcome shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. For the fearful and unbelieving, and the abnormal and murderers and home and sorcerers and adulterers and liars shall have their part in the lake which burns the fire and brimstone, which is the second death thing. Uh, now, but we here kwa another session. The uh, tributes in Geomba to answer number ya kwanza na our daughters. I'm Jambo. Mimi nitasoma ile tribute ambayo tumeandika kama daughters na hawa dada zangu ambao ndio wakubwa wangu wataongea. Na nitasoma na kizungu. Mama, you are in, indeed our great heroine. We celebrate you. You taught us to be strong, to depend and trust on God and believe in ourselves and to never give up. Your love and guidance we will embrace and hold so dear to our hearts. 
We watched with pure amazement as you navigated different situations with sheer courage that equal to none other. Your wisdom and strength were in a different level. As we watched you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you demonstrated what it means to walk with the Lord and not to be ashamed of the gospel. We will continue to sing your song, Iende Wapi Injili, O Iende Mbele Injili, Ya Yesu Christo Iende Mbele. You opened your house as a place of worship, and that will continue to do. In sickness, you demonstrated hope and resilience. Mama, we loved you, and God loved you more. May you rest in peace, Mama, till we meet again. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 13. Then I heard a, a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor and their deeds will follow them. Come and ask Mama. Amen. 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 Si tunamsherekea? Eh. Nataka tuimbe ile wimbo mama alikuwa anapenda sana. Hata akiwa mgonjwa, akisikia unaimba unaona anafanya hivyo. Iende wapi injili yo? Iende mbele. Iende wapi injili ya Yesu? Iende mbele. Iende wapi injili yo? Iende mbele. ya leo kumsindikisha suja huyu mama amelala hapa ni suja wetu ametulinda ametuongoza kwa njia zile zina faa mama kuongoza watoto wake akatufanya tupitie njia ya ukristo na uokovu na namshukuru hata saa hii amelala hapa Aliambia pasta Musila ndio tunakuanga home na yeye pasta hata nikiwa siko hii nyumba yangu nimekuatia hiwe kanisa bwana yesu asifiwe she was a good mother she was she was so good and darling tunaenda kumumis lakini furaha ni nitakutana na mamangu paradiso amen bwana asifiwe alikufa akiwa ameokoka na amemjua Yesu Kristo. Kwa hivyo najua wherever my mom is we are going to meet again. Amen. God bless you. Ekaitu ke Daniel Dayani ya Yesu Kristo. Mwiaseo. Na bwana Moseo. Ni nena na kikamba na nji sio wala matebe ya kikamba tambisho. Basi ndugu dada sio dunasia. Yeye ni na ushani ya leo? Nondo wa mama. Kasabu ya kuma. Mama huyu na nabikia kwake mwaka wa 1980. Nilifika kwake mwaka wa 1980. Nina sana kaa kwake na nyeyi danda tu kala ni kokaika mwana kaa. Nikiwa mtoto wangu wa kwanza akiwa na miezi sita. 
na tuwe kala nyanesa na tuwe kala nyanesa na tuwe kala nyanesa mwiongo nyanya na itano nasi ya kangi na indina itafafu ni kaza mwingine na nasi ya kangi mwiongo nyanya na muonza na nikaza mwingine ita seven usua mwiongo nyanya na itano nebuwa meane na muendua wake hola na kiotebo mmeketa kalunde kalunde ni nya uo waku kalunde ni mbayawe waku kauka akeli nebuwa masi ya meketa nduko wapili wakamuita nduko nundu nenda hake tuwe mbula mbula ni nya wako ya kimutu ya mani taka hitu wa mbula mamangu kutoka wa kimutu ya na malea. Na wakakata? Mazi ya kuwe ya kimutuwa ni kwa mbae lea. Wakasema u kimutuwa ni kwa mbae. Ni kwa mbae lea. Nakuni kwa mbae ke vati. Nakuni. Na huku ni kwa mbae ke vati. Kwa huku wana ni kwa mbae ni vati. Ni kwa mbae lea. Kula hewe kwa huku. Akasema hitu wa huku. Siwa kule. Na mama kwe kala na ite nani ni wano kie kumbone. Tuwaka na mama na ite nani kaja huku. Na tui kiwanza ni okiju. Na waka kutui kiwanza ni kitui. Tui sherekea maziko. Na tuki wapa tuki sherekea mazishi. Ma umwe wa ashiriki maitu. Ya umoja ashirika wetu. Mama ni wokie maziko ni asu. Mama alikuja. Na aduma Danieli wandunda. Na akachuma Danieli ya kamuita. Ambila amuya mbitie ilia. Na kasema ni itia ilia. Na Danieli yoka ambita na noka bala de mama. Na Danieli ya kamuita akaja malikuna mama. Na utanula wa iwo nezi ya mama ni watangi. Iwe na atie kindu kingi. Na furani kwa nipata mama akiwa meokoka. Na ambia ni wabatisi we edwa na umi. Na kaniambia ni batiso waka hitwa na umi. Na ambia ni mwitie siyana. Na kaniambia. Na niambia ni muitie watoto. Na na muitie ya siyana na isi ya na siye vae na ni mkukenga na ni kwewea. Na nika muitie watoto na wako hapa. Wana za shudia. Na tuwa katuwa ne na siye ndumbingi. Na tuka semeza na mambo mei. Na mama tuya we ni watangi iwe na kila kia kia kwe tina kedele na tuyende ya nami. Mama kasema liyo kukana yale ya liyo pita tuwa chena watu ende mbeni. Na tuwa ende ya nesa. Na tuka endelea vizuri. Na evindalila wa ina na wakati ya likuwa na badi day haka sema tupenda kilipenda kwa watu na tukani tuka kuwa na shere njema kuonyesha jilikuwa ya mwisho kusherekea na mama kwa hivyo tulikesha vizu na mama na tukani na atuna njapo na mama haende vizu na hivyo nimebaki nikiwa na mwonyiva anaito halisi mwonyiva na anaito halisi mwodeo na last born na kwa hivyo tuwa mwonyiva na kwa hivyo tuwa mwonyiva na kwa hivyo tuwa mwonyiva na kwa hivyo God is good all the time, all the time. All the time. that is nature wow okay I'm not going to read the tribute uh, for the grandchildren I'm going to give my sister Kalunde to read this tribute still we can't believe our lovely grandma was taken away from us we will miss our grandma but her spirit and strength lives on each of us and in the lives that she touched she lives on us and in all those who have been touched by her love, strength, conviction, wisdom, and beauty of her soul, we will be forever grateful and thankful that you are our grandma. Bye, Mama. Today we honor a life well lived. Miss Naomi Mwangi wasn't your average great grandma. She was strong and stood tall. She was there. The return of age is nothing but a number. She was so willful. She never let a day go to waste. She was one of the first to get up and had a strike daily routine. Whenever it was grazing, her goat, her goat on raiding her hands, on listening to her favorite radio station, or scrubbing her feet in the veranda. She always had something to do. She was vibrant, always had a smile on her face. I loved her little earnest don't and their little feet she, she threw when things went, wasn't going her way. On behalf of all the great grandchildren, it is certain to sh that she will be missed. We'll miss her never-ending banters with grandma. Her proposals to butter a chicken when we made some short of achievement. 
will miss her when we come across her designant chair in the dining table and her feet leaning back, buckets lying untouched in the veranda. But we celebrate her too for being the foundation of the family, for working so hard for the future and stability of her lineage, for touching so many lives, for leading such a purposeful life, and most importantly, for being her. I bet we can all agree that she was a pretty, she was pretty awesome. Natasha, ako na tribute na ako ngambo. Sawa sawa, wakeni tuwese kuisiki sa pamoji. Wasn't your average great grandmother? She was strong and stood tall. She was the epitome of age is nothing but a number. Never did I see her frail until her last moments. She was so willful. She never let a day go to waste. She was one of the first to get up and had a strict daily routine, whether it was grazing her goats or raising her hands or listening to her favorite radio station or scrubbing her feet in the veranda. She always had something to do. She was vibrant, always had a smile on her face. I loved her little anecdotes and the little fits she threw when things weren't going her way. On behalf of all the great grandchildren, it is certain that she will be missed. We'll miss her never-ending banters with grandma, her proposals to butcher a chicken when we made some sort of achievement. We'll miss her when we come across her designated chair in the dining table and her fake cleaning bucket laying untouched in the veranda. But we celebrate her still for being the foundation of the family, for working so hard for the st stability and future of the lineage, for touching so many lives, for leading such a purposeful life, and most importantly, for being her. I bet we can all agree she was pretty awesome. Thank you, Natasha from US. They are following us through the YouTube. God bless you. She always had something to do. You know, go to Akoken. Brothers and the sisters, your wives, your husbands. I will read the tribute of brothers and sisters. Sister, it is with deep sorrow that we write this tribute. You are a sister in a million, humble, kind, loving, caring, and good at heart and soul. Your sudden death came as a rude shock. We'd not accept it and wish we had more time to continue to appreciate you. Although we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. And God, in his infinite wisdom, knows best, a golden heart stop beating, and working hands now resting. God broke our hearts to prove to us that he only takes the best. May our Lord God Almighty comfort and sustain your family, my dear sister. Now and always, may you rest in perfect peace until we meet again in glory, in, the, in, glory in the great resurrection. Amen. Romans 828. <laughs> The way these are the great, great grandchildren. Praise God. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Cindy. And in the behalf of the great, great grandchildren, I'm going to say this. My great, great grandchildren, she was great. She always loved us. 
when she found out, when she found us in trouble, she will always help. She helped us out in every trouble. I really miss her, and I wish to see her again. Ah, ni asia na pati kule na wende na ukurakisa na nengo mukedi ya ndaya ni yesu ni asia mu yaseo. Nakiasia ende undo tume se moito su. Nasema ya na mujia wimbo chukuwezi. Ah moito su zela oki e busu suwa kivati. Ali pokuwe tuko akina kivati. Ah ni asia mavi na mainge me kala buri na hundo moja ya kumbiashara mulolongo. Wali kuwa kifanya biashara. Na e kala buri na mtume ya wake. Ali kati wa na bana kio. Na kuwa moja ya mtume kala inobi. Na kuna wengine wake. Na alilai ni tuenda ni tuenda kuto katembele ana na mtume ana tuiri ya fatuma ba u. Tulipokuwa tunaenda kumtembele ya mzee wake tulipata fatuma. Na wewe ni awa kana na ndumu amusi. Na alikuwa na wewe ya papa ni watu wanyi ba yaki. Na wewe ni awa inenga ndumu amusi na yeye. Na alikuwa na wapa shima. Ila mewe ni awa majuka kuwe na mtume ya wake. Tulipokuwa na kujio kwa ni wake kisha kana kila. Nyumba ni wake ni anwasu Hali ya kikisha mesalimu wa na nyumba wote Kwa huni wa tepele ya kila nyumba ilama waka kuwe na mutu ya wake Kwa hivyo alichandea kila nyumba ni pokuwa na kuja Uwe ni kitu tapamili Kwa hivyo wa sisi kama familia Ni kwa siya mama kumwane sa Ni kusema mama kumzika salama Wanya ni wasalimu katika jina alesu wa mjambo Mimi ni kutoka sehemu ya nakuru Diyo nakaka kwa pamisha mjua hii boma Ya shoshu ni kubwa My father na fadha wa shosho alikuwa tumbo moja sasa mimi nimekuja kuwakilisha fadha kutoka na akuru kwa hivyo wamenituma nipeane pole ni ingurenga pole mamusi na wapa pole tuwa mboma kamoja na wakani majirani na wakanisa Mama huyu kulikuwa tunayona tako Kutune itensi nilikuwa na muona Nekitika kuenda mbasa Kutia kwake Lala huko na telemuka Kwa kari ya misha owa My sister Na atabaku Amaomwa karibu Three weeks Halikuwa na maumitu makali Mungu wa mungu Hakawa Nukuhuma Mauko Ulimalisika wakati Likata roho Na Akawa na mungu Kwa meondoka Na sisi tunataka Tumusindikise na mungu Uwo uwo Waka arrest in peace Ni ayo Kakani mukaja Dari na Yesu Christo mwaseo Ithiye Tehisi yetaya wake Siani wenalisi Asyik bantu dulu mai si Taiwan. Kita dulu mai po. Kita cari makro umpat bawa tu cari persen. Eko, si muka ya. Ni muka yang apa anda ya? Yang semua ya sih. Salim katakan jadi si Kristus. Dia ada uang nak roka, lagi ni dia inge. Alah ke mana nak roka makoka? Mai sah dia muka umum no. Lutu yang nampak dia nanti mui. Mai mahu yang nampak dia nanti mui. Mai mahu roka kubika. Lutu dia kau kuat di sana. Mai sisdo. Kuma kalau kau isha nak kuat mana ke? Amjambo nyote Amjambo Kwa majina na hitwa Dogas Mufu John Kutoka Mombasa Uyu admela na hapa ni anti yetu Hata si tulikuwa tumuiti anti Tulikuwa tutumuika ukulu Kama vile mama zetu walikuwa tumuika Kwa ule upendo tulipenda Lakini mungu wa mempenda zaidi Tunachomuombea ni mungu wa kailaze Roo yake baadizema pepo Asante Wana mpenda sana, sana, sana. Mimi hata si kutuwa mchosi sasa. Nizidia mbaka ni kachoka. Nikuwa na kingia kutoka kwa mba. Anapika simu anasema, kuja, kuja haraka na kuja haraka kwa mba. Tukipika hako, hile vimbo kutia mamajimia tuipa pale. Anakiambia tuipe, atuluka luka juu. Mama anayenda mbaka ni kachoka. Mbine sabi. Aya. Kita ini muka yang kamu jasio. Jasio. Ina kemamaan ni mana nawa. Ila na di kubunya ni nanda. Kau kena baca indah bungkus atau mabuk tak kau minum. 
tunaendia kwa haja kwa hiyo ilani na kwa haja ngoti ni ninewe miango na nengi wala ile mzeo ni na mama na ndini wewe mama ni rafiki yangu sana wakati niliomia uko siku mama yeye ndio mama ni tambo ya kwanza na wewe makao tumekaa nao kwa njia safi hakuna makosa yoyote tulipatikana na yeye nao Kabe huyu mama Merara ni rafiki yangu. Akiniona anafurahia sana. Anasema rafiki yangu amekuja na cheka anapita makofi. Akifurahi. Kwa hivyo niliwaja na usuli. Kwa hivyo nene wa sisi kama watu wanakananga ama. Nayo tungwa. Sidani pate ni rafiki yangu. Sikeni maua tuweke pamoja hapo. Asante. Asante. Sante, sante, sante. Ya wada friends ya. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Ah, kwa majina anaitwa Stella Madeka. Huni dadangu anaitwa Faith. Mimi na Lorin ni marafiki wa Chanda na Pete. Na hata wakati alinipigia simu akiwa US akaniambia chochoa siki vizuri. Nilienda nikatembelea, kukaa na yeye na mamu na tunashukuru Mungu kwa hayo maisha yote uh, ameweza kutupatia na shosho. Kwa kusema kweli e, siku ya leo vile mama amesema ni siku ya kusherekea e, uhai wa shosho. Maana ni wengi ambao walizaliwa na kusema kweli miaka yote hawataipata. So sifa na shukrani ziemwende Mungu kwa kutupa hii miaka yote kwa na shosho. Asanteni sana. Go. Praise God again. Amen. Nashukuru kufika hapa. Um, Lorena ameolewa kwetu miaka mingi ndiye mama Natasha ni bibi ya Fernando wa Kuwes mimi ndio nimekuja kuwafundisha Asanteni sana kwa kukuja kwa mazishi ya Shoshka bado alikuwa biste wakiwa mrongo karibuni sana Bwana asifiwe Amen Bwana asifiwe Amen Majina na ikasha law before Mungu ni mwema na sema Mungu ni wa ajabu naomba Mungu sana abariki yule mtoto ale rafiki yangu sana yeye mwenda kumuona kupigia simu na muuliza huyo anaendeleaje lakini Mungu ni mwema barikiwe sana bado asifiwe amen asifiwe tena amen Sasa <laughs> kwa niamba komitini ngeta kupatia pasta Paul Soja Uh, kile naweza sema ni kwamba pole shosha amepunzika ah uh, hawa wapendo walifanya kazi nzuri walijijima mpaka saingine wanapitisha masaa ya kulala ili sherehe ya shosha ikapate kwa yakufana kwa hivyo tumejifundisha mengi kwa yale alitenda akiwa hai na chizi alivyopenda Mungu na kujitolea kwa kazi ya Mungu. Tuko na vitabu tungeandika juu yake ambayo tumejifundisha kutoka kwa maisha yake. Hata sisi tujifundishe kuishi na watu vizuri na Mungu atatuongezea miaka. Mungu awabariki. Andre mama ni usei kubarsa. Kila simos, pei partio seu, kila simos. Asante kwa komiti yetu. Acha ni wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Au jambo? Acha jambo. Hii ni komiti ile ilikuwa hapa nyumbani ilikuwa na inapanga mpango. Walipanga walipanga kasi 
kubwa sana hata ukiwaona namna hiyo tunasema ni asali kabisa walitusaidia tukapambana na tukafaulu watu wa ngoma huko na furaha na mimi nikiongea upande ule mwingine wa mama na sasa sema mama kulingana na vile msikiana wake ameongea mama ni sijana nilimjua kutoka 1973 akinifunza kasi yeye ndio alinifunza kasi wakati alikuwa anaenda huko kimutwa mimi nilikuwa mse nilikuwa naambatana na yeye kwa hivyo ni mama namjua na ni mama wa, a, alikuwa na upendo anapenda kila mtu na wale wameoacha hapa mwenyewe na wale wengine kwa kuacha hiyo njia ya mama kwa sababu mama alitenda kazi nzuri asante ningependa niwasalimie katika jina la Yesu Kristo mjambo ningependa kusema pole sana kwa nyumba ya Alice Mwangangi Alice Mwangangi ni mmoja wetu wa chama chetu cha mazishi na ako na cheo katika hiyo chama kama trustee uh, wa chama ndipo natuona hapa tumekuja kusindikisha mama yake ili tuwe pamoja vile tunakoana sisi tunajitanga brothers and sisters chama kicha kiemwe dicha machame tuki ya biene sana 1977 ana watu kuite alisi yebe akano watu apo kikaba kaina daiwe asusu witrop abo mwenesa ni asia esu sei na miaka meseo ondo mwetu akawasia hadi kita oserembri uni asia ni asant anga ya mutedie nyonde ala mukie ya deniki ni asia ni asant kono Kaya <tos> Nene na ndwa lao ndema bakene na elia ya sia biblia ya sia mundu lo kuye ya sia mubaka ni muhumani cha bocha mtu yu akundu ka kwate nuntu ngumba wila elia e kwete ni ya bomu ya uya wayo na mibaka ya elia yo ndem bati bati na la mu bakene na elia ni ka kwatwe elia ati wana sibikali Elia mungu ono mwe, ndaka vikeo kudenya. Uno mei bindetie, inya wa ito zela eko, mabi ndieu tene na tene. Mbwana isu asifiwe? Mbwana isu asifiwe tena? Na shukuru mungu, kwa wakati ule, ni memjua shosho. Halikuwa rafiki muema, halitupatia mahali ya kumuabudu siku ya Wednesday ya Saferoshe. Na alikuwa anaangalia time sana. Tungeenda mahali pale saa moja ikifika, tukitaka kuona ni Yusa na Amrisha izimwe, TV iwepo off. Alikuwa anapenda sana na tunashukuru tukiwa mahali pale Mungu anaonekana na atazidi kuonekana ni kwa sababu alitupatia nafasi ya kuendelea hata akiwa hayuko. Mungu awabariki. Ah uh tumashukuru na kusherekea the promotion of soso to glory alikuwa pila kanisani mama alikuwa anampenda Mungu sana na alipokuwa anaingia kanisani kama tumeanza kuimba alikuwa anasimama na anadance vizuri anachemsha kanisa na tunashukuru Mungu kwa miaka ambaye Mungu alitupatia soso kwa nasi kanisani na kuishi nasi. 
na Mungu awafariti familia asante washiriki wale wengine tuingie kwa picha waka kuyoni jinsi wote tuingie kwa picha ataidimaka kuyoni leo tumeongea Kiswahili sana Mungu tuweke pasta ya zia ataidi yombe maka kuyoni moka thank you thank you thank you Okay, I'm a member. I'm a member. I'm a Thank you. Praise and worship team from MFMCC at JNC Kakuyuni. Please come forward. Now, but to see Mame, you can wait for the Kukusamu.
Yesu sema amina amina sema amina amina sema amina amina kuna yako hivi jamani hivi kila mtu hivi jamani twende 1 2 3 we go Yeah Come on benda Yesu sema amina amina
sababu ulitupenda hata kabla hatujakupenda ni asante kwa siku ya leo tunakushukuru Mungu wa majeshi sandi Jehova kwa kila kibali ambacho umekabidhi ukatubarikia tumefika wakati ya kusikiana na lako Mungu wangu ila nasema ya kwamba the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was the God baba tunaomba kwanza kumwandaa mtumishi wako nasi ukaweze kutuandaa andaa mioyo yetu tukaweze kujua mapenzi yako siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi kwa maisha tuna makwamini amen Mungu awabariki tena sana Aa, ni wakati wa kulipata neno la Mungu siku ya leo na ningetaka kuchukua nafasi ili niweze kumkaribisha askofu ambaye ndiye ataenda kutuletea neno maadi naum alikuwa na shiriki huyo ndio pasta wake praise the lord amen as you have heard my name is kefa unaoma yeye sina yake tawa kefa moindi moindi i love the lord no mwana ya kristo I am nothing without him. Niba dai Kristo atende ni wake. I can do nothing without him. Eka ungo, ndeka ungo na wiba Kristo atende ni wake. Praise the Lord. Mwa Yesu da taiwe. We want to listen to the word of God this. Twenda ilo kisa tuno yanga ima saa tatu ma modela. But I want to say a few things before I bring the word of God to us. Na nienda kwa kuweta maono manini tuna ambone na yanga i. The lady who is was left. Mundo mukao na ola utotie. She loved the Lord. No na mwenye demotangi. She has walked with the Lord for the last 13 years. No ingia na Kristo miaka 13. But she has done a lot. Aina wikite maundo manene. A impact can be felt. Maungana wikite no mai wiki na no mama no moneke. She was a great giver. Ana imonenga ni monene. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even in the project that we have in the church. Ona maurado ene na kuya kabisa ni she contributed to the task ana nenga nie kwa wingi mo may the lord bless our family muya inagi me family yake praise the lord amen and i thank god that he connected me with this mama nani mutonge anga hivyo bado akumbwa na nyana mama wao hallelujah amen i thank god that i was a pastor they tonge hivyo bado na pastor and i give god all the glory Nani yanga hiyo tangi utaiogombe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Joy. Father we thank you. Mwenye tautungi yangu leo. We bless you and we honor you Lord. Nitaudhaidha na tautaiya. We thank you for your word. Tiutungi yangu leo ndoto yangu. We pray that the mighty God. Tiboa yanga hiyo ina vina. As we break this word. Tuina na neto ino. May you speak to our life. Endo kanena madhabi maicha. May you speak to our heart to God. Endo kanena na maicha maicha. We thank you for the time that you gave now me to us. Tiutungi yangu leo na masalo na ingia na mpira na ishi. Has taken care of us. No to so be here. She has taken care of the great the grandchildren. No to be here. Great grandchildren. And great great grandchildren. We thank God for us. And we thank God for our family. We pray that the mighty God now speak to us. Minister to us, O God. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. I'm reading from the book of Luke chapter 19. Chapter 19. 16 and first 19 and first number 19 the bible says there was a certain rich man who was clothed in the purple and fine linen and the fair some shall be every day in other words he was eating good food every day he was living a luxurious life every day hallelujah amen praise the lord amen he lived sumptuously every day he never missed anything if he wanted water it was there finally If you wanted to go to him to go to was there and I'm going to go him 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 to He lived sumptuously. And it was every day. Hallelujah. Amen. 
They never missed anything. There was no lack in this house. He had everything that he needed. All the best cars in the world. All the best motorcade in the world. And the best house in the world. He had everything. If it is money, he had money. Hallelujah. Amen. If he wanted to enjoy life, he could enjoy life. Praise the Lord. Jesus is giving this story. About this certain rich man. Who does not have a name? Praise the Lord. Amen. Ask your neighbor, do you have a name? He had all the best cars in the world. He didn't have a name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. He lived sumptuously. But he didn't have a name. Hallelujah. Amen. He's called a Satan rich man. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. What do people call you? How are you known in the village? Praise the Lord. Amen. How do they refer you to? I meant to understand that Jesus is giving this to and it's a true story that Jesus is giving. It's not fiction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And this story happened. In the time of Moses and the prophets. And you know when Jesus comes in the scene, Moses and the prophets had passed. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Which means in the time of Moses, they were rich men. But they didn't have a name. Hallelujah. Amen. They were rich men. They didn't have a reputation. Hallelujah. Amen. They found anything, they go with it. They could be called the songos of that time. Hallelujah. Amen. But this man, one time, died. Abra. He had all the gold. I now we go He had all the money. I now best as you may. He had all what in the text. I now get us to the tongue that the animal. And the man died. In the moon, no Abra. But before he died, in it before Edan Abra, there was a man called and a beggar called Lazarus. By moon, my boy, I went on a star. The beggar had a name. Uh -huh. Lazaro, I see you. He had a name. I see you. He had a name. They were calling him Lazarus. Uh -huh. I see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have a name? We need you. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have a name? We need you. Hello. Hello. They call him Lazarus. Mawita Lazarus. The beggar. Mubaj. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that this man. Had sores in his body. Pass were oozing out of his body. He was stinking. He was smelling. Nobody could desire him to come into his house. No wonder the rich man who does in the name could not allow him in. The Bible says that they carried him every day. That he could come to the gate of the rich man who does in the name. That he could eat a crumbs that fall from the table of the rich man. You, saw, there's, you, you see, there's a, there's a difference between the crumbs that fall uh, 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 down under the table and the remains of food. Are you get what I'm saying? There's a difference between the crumbs and the remains of food. 
14. And verse number 6. That I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your bishop has told you. It doesn't matter what the religious people have told you. Jesus still remains the way. Hallelujah. There's no another way. Jesus remains the way. Hallelujah. Amen. Tomorrow does not belong to you. The second thing he taught Abraham. He taught Abraham. Then you can send him to my brothers. But they don't come to where I am. They don't come to where I am. Maybe his brothers also were living sumptuously. Maybe his brothers also had money. Maybe his brothers also they could have said to you. And he says, if somebody comes from the dead and there's preachers to them, they'll hear. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that they don't preach. Those who are alive preach. Hallelujah. Amen. And they told him. No. They are prophets. They are Moses. They are Moses. Listen. Let, let them listen to them. And I want to tell you today. Listen to me. Education bishop. Listen to Reverend Kimatu. Listen to this man of God. They have been sent by God to speak. This Jesus I'm preaching. Yes, It's returning. Maybe you won't be there when it comes. It depends on the choice that you have made. Not tomorrow. Today, oh Monday, the choice that you make today, you say yes, Lord. What then you will see him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today, oh Monday, is your day of salvation. The Bible says it's appointed once for man to die, and after death, judgment. At that very moment, when you close your eyes, judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no tomorrow. There is no purgatory. There is no place where souls are kept so that you can intercede for them. There is no intercession after death. I can intercede for you when you are alive. And that's what I want to do today. I pray for you today. You receive the Lord Jesus. Because tomorrow belongs to God. I'm asking you today. You turn to God. You turn to God. I don't know the condition of your heart. But you know, and God knows, and you know by yourself how the condition of your heart is. And to God. Because it's ready and willing to receive you. I pray that you help them to make the right decision. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' wonderful name. And someone say amen. Say amen. Praise the Lord. I want the family to come. Family. Depend on what for each. May the Lord to give you strength. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord watch over your life. May the Lord bless your generations. May you be fruitful in the land. May you be fruitful in the city. May the Lord bless your lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me ask Reverend Kimato to come and pray for the family.
baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo wakati uliopo kwa sasa ni wakati wa kuweka familia mikononi mwako mm. hii familia ikiwa na wewe bwana wataenda mbali mm. bwana watainuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimewapeana mikononi mwako bwana ukawese kuwabariki ukabariki watoto wao ukabariki usao wao ukabariki kazi ya mikono yao bwana ninakuomba ili ukawese kusimama pamoja na wao siku zao zote wale ambao watasimama kinyume na awa bwana ninakuomba ukawese kusimama kinyume na wao wale ambao watavikana na wao bwana ninakuomba ukawese kupikana na wao wale ambao watatenda na wao bwana ninakuomba ili ukawese kuteta na wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu uliye hai nimetamka baraka zako nimetamka kuinuliwa wana wa majeshi ninakuomba ili ukaweze kutenda jambo jibya ndani ya maisha yao ndani ya kazi yao ndani ya familia zao ndani ya watoto wao ndani ya mili yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimewatenganisha na kila ila na kila mkome sababu shetani maneno ya mbao yataenda kutamkwa kinyume na wao wana nimewatenganisha na wao kila lahada wana nimewatenganisha pamoja na wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu uliye hai wape abia njema wape maisha mema bwana ninakuomba ili ukaweze kuwafunika na ndamu ya mwana kondoo Yesu Kristo ninakuomba kazi ya mpato ambao wanazifanya ukaweze kusibariki biashara zao zikaweze kubarikiwa wale ambao watoto wanasoma wakaweze kufanya vyema ndani ya masomo yao mwana wa Mungu watu wakubwa watu wa kuheshimika wakapate kuonekana katika mboma zao katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mambo ya yote, mambo yote ya imilisi, mambo yote ya iluminati, mambo yote ya wachawi, mambo yote ya machini, Mwana wa Mungu tunakomesha katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tumeondosha rada zote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana tumetamka kuongezeka, tumetamka uzao, tumetamka kupata pesa, tumetamka kupata kazi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Maisha ya kukaukiwa, Bwana yameisha. Yameisha Bwana. Awata kaukiwa tena katika jina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu mwana wa Mungu ninakuomba kibali chako bwana kikawe juu ya hawa katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu uliye hai bwana ninakuomba kuomba hili uzao ukapate kumarikiwa na ukapate kuinuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wa majeshi tutembelee Bwana wa majeshi tuinue ndani katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana na mokozi tumeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. Barikiweni tena sana. Amen. Amen. Mungu aendelee na kuainua na kuwalinda katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninaalika mtu wa mboma ili akawese kutoa photo cards mtu wa familia karibu sana. Mbe ni tonga move yako angai. Ni kweli wanao tumeze wako acha. Atoto wa mazako na atutonga pa mesa. Move longi na nao tonga. Ni wa kuma de lako kwa tie ndonyo. Ah, ni to edi wona kwa tanio na makanisa ele. Ni to edi wona kwa tanio na pasika kimato. Kanisa ya sio kimao. Bishop unaelewa wana ke kulikuwa na ushirika na Reverend Kimatu na Bishop tulikuwa naye Pastor Nzoka ni tunaelewa wana ke Pastor Nzoka tulikuwa naye ni tunaelewa wana kalidaeka mama tulikuwa na kalinae naye ni mnyiba na mnyiba pia na yeye ndio mamuzi na watu wa mboma pia ni tunaelewa watu itaelewa nisia na na mo tulikuwa tukisaidiana wao maondoni yao nde haya mambo yote na watu mkoona cha bijailete na jinsi ndio kila kitu kwa sawa jailetu ni kanisa ya 
Pamu si eh, kapo ni uni, iko iko masabi kapo yuni, pas ingin tawa kani saya asio kimau, kani saya asio kimau, limo mapa mapu tebe isio kubanga kilaki ni cewa, saya dia kubanga kilaki itu, na ni asia, ahi kita mui tu iwa mojo kapo si ni uni, na ina sema wengi muli kuda kwe tu, na mapu tebe asia, na mapu saya dia, baka jadi cai lah, baka sepi ada um, nona seri me, kami leka bezu, be. Wanza ni asia na sema makanisa ni makutete isiemo no kanisa mwe kusaidia sana kutete ngwa ni siama kusaidiwa sana na chama kutete ngwa ni chama cha keye mwae kusaidiwa na chama ya keye mwae kutunge ya mwabea ingi na tunashukuru tena kwa ya ya baka kuyuni kwa ya ya baka kuyuni ni kwini wanayo kwa maana na mwona ya kutete ime kusaidia pia kwima Tetungi anga imu bea ingi Na tuna mshukuru mungu tena Nikuwe dewa Wakua Kila mungu mungu wa mbeo ukiewa Kila mtu yeyote alikuja mana Nene sea ingi ni munga na mekie Wengi munga na mekia sana Mungu mbeza sea inu Natuwa ila zenu Nungu wa nungu kanawa ile Kwa njili ya injambo ikuwe Mut Na tuwe na mgrupu ila tuwe tebe ya nisi ya nasio Kwa na makundi ya mbao tuisaidia na wawo Tuwe na komiti ya mbao si Kuna ile chama chapa nyumbani Kee, na chomi tui tete ya nisi ya na chomi Na hudu nisaidi ya na pia Tui na kekundi kengi ya na kucha Sio kimao Kuna ingine huko sio kimao Na mwoni tui tete ya nisi ya na mwoni Na hudu nisaidi ya na pia Kwe kengi ya irobi Kuna ingine ya na irobi Na chomi tui tete ya nisi ya na mwoni Na hudu nisaidi ya na pia Kwe nguru tui ngila kemutua Na ingine wa kemutua Na mwoni tui tete ya nisi ya na mwoni Nisaidi ya na pia Kwa hudu tui mwoni ya Maende na hivyo hundo mekie kuhu Na hivyo na umundu wako wa tuwa nungu to Tuwakifanya nyebo kama hivyo Nisaidia na jivu yifanya Na hivyo alika nisa Na hivyo alika nisa Thank you Santa Mbo si tuwelekese Asante sana Tuwambe Baba katika jina la Yesu Christo Tunakushukuru, tunakuambudu, tunalimidi jina lako Uwe peki yako unatosha wana ni asati kwa jili ya uongozi wako katika ibada ya leo. Na wana tunayalekea ini tukaende kuimalizia. Ni asati kwa kila moja wetu. Wana faume kwa jikabili kwako. Ini wana mtakatifu katuongoze kwa waminifu wako. Wengine wetu tutaigia kwa mangani na kwa kwenda makwetu. Wana tunaomba ulisi utuokao kwako. Tunakataa majali katika jina la Yesu Christo. Tukumbuke kwa hili jambo mitakatifu. Ni wakati wa Christmas na anabwana kufuka makamupia. Wana tajikabili kwako. Hili bwana ukajidirishe kwa kila jambo. Na bwana mfamo ukaonekane. Na mnyele ya wengi kawese kufungulio kwa jile utukufu wa jina lako. Tuongoze bwana tuifadi kwa jile utukufu wa jina lako. Katika jina la Yesu Christo tunama na kuamini.
baba katika njina la Yesu Kristo. Yes. Mungu wetu tunasema ni asandi maana umetulinda na umetuongoza. Mm. Hakika umetufikisha katika hii mboma. Mm. Bwana tunataka kutoa mwili ili tukaweze kurutisha mapumbini. Mm. Maali umetoka bwana. Mm. Tunakuomba ili ukaweze kutusaidia. Mm. Tunakuomba ili ukaweze kutuongoza. Mm. Tunakuomba ili ukaweze kutulinda. Yes, Gubu zako zikaweze kuonekana mali hapa. Yes. Bwana tunaomba kimbali chako mm. kikaweze kuwa juu yetu. Mm. Bwana tumbariki na Bwana tuongoze. Mm. Tunapoanza msafara wa kwenda katika kaburi. Mm. Bwana tunakuomba ili ukaweze kuanza pamoja nasi. Mm. Tuongoze na tulinde. Mm. Na ni katika njina la Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana mm. tumeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Mwako mungu wetu na baba wetu 
na hivi sasa tumevika mahali ambapo tumetengenezea mwaitu nyumba mm. yake mahali atakapokaa mpaka wakati atakaposikia sauti lako ya Mwenyezi Mungu mm. Kwa hivyo tumeandaa ikaburi ndiposa ikaweze kumpokea e Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm. Tunaomba neema na kibali chako na Roho Mtakatifu wako Bwana akatembee ndani ya ikaburi. Mm. Malaika wako Bwana wakalinda na kulitunza Mungu wetu na Baba wetu. Hapa yes. ndipo atakapokaa mpaka wakucha kwako Yesu Kristo. Mm. Tunabariki ikaburi cheoba ushie milele. Tunasema ni asante kwa ajili ya msavara wote. Mm. Tunasema ni asante kwa ajili ya wale wote ambao wanasukunga mahala hapa. Mm. Pokea sifa na utukufu maana ni zako milele. Kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Yesu akasema katika kitabu cha Yohana 11 akiongea na mada na mmeli akawaambia ya the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die praise the lord amen now lisa yule anaendesha ya utise mwili chini For as much it has pleased our Heavenly Father in His wise providence to take unto Himself the soul of the departed, we therefore commit our body to the ground, heart to heart, and dust to dust. We commit to the ground, heart to heart, and dust to dust. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our God, of our great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who shall fashion the body anew in the likeness of his own body of the glory according to the working of his mighty power. In the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4 and first number 13 to 18, the Apostle Paul says, For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord shall know to precede those who have fallen asleep. Mm. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven mm. with a shout, mm. with the mm. voice of the, of the archangel, mm. and with the trump of God. Mm. And the dead in Christ mm. shall rise first, then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Mm. Wherefore comfort one another with this words, and mm. family be comforted with this words, that one day we are going to meet with the mighty in the glorious land. Mm. Hallelujah. If we continue in the faith, mm. praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Let me ask Pastor Msila to pray before we do other uh, 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 ceremonies of putting the reeds and uh, also uh, allowing other members to kutuba mchanga. Sante. Wacheli tuwambe kwa moja. Baba wetu liye mbikuni katika jina la Yesu tunakushukumu sana. 
maana umetupatia mwisho kwa safari hii Mungu wetu tuliyoanza kutoka asubuhi. Na Mungu wetu tumemhumsisha susu agoye ufukuo wako Mungu wetu ili tutaweze kutana nawe Mungu mbinguni. Naomba Bwana akaweze kumsika vyema akiwa pale hapa mwili wake Mungu wetu kingoja kufukuliwa tena katika jina la Yesu. Ni asande amani yako ndumu ndani ya mioyo yetu Mungu wetu. Asande kwa kila jambo ambao tumefanya utukufu wote ni wako katika jina la Yesu. Utukuke na winuliwe na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you perfect in every good work to do his will working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen may the lord bless you amen amen
tunaomba ya kwamba hii mwili itabaki hapa mpaka ile siku itasikia tarumbeta ya Mungu ikilia yes. itafufuliwa pamoja na wale ambao wako ndani ya Kristo mm. baba tuwafunika ili kaburi na damu ya Kristo ndio mweka msalabani mm. kila nguvu ya giza tuwaikemea katika jina la Yesu yes. kila nguvu ya machini na uchawi tuwaikemea katika jina la Yesu yes. baba Mungu wetu tuomba uka ukafunike ili kaburi na damu ya Kristo mm. na weke ukuta wa moto katika ili kaburi katika jina la Yesu yes. Mungu Mungu wangu naomba ukalinde chamii hii mm. ukalinde familia hii ukawaongoze katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Asante kwa kila mmoja ambaye amehusikana na hii kazi. Mm. Mungu wetu tunaomba ya kwamba utuelekeze tunapoelekea kwetu nyumbani. Mm. Utangulie kila mmoja wetu katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Tukemea kila nguvu ya achali katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Mungu wetu afunika kila mmoja wetu na damu ya Kristo. Mm. Asante kwa maana umesikia maombi yetu katika jina la Kristo mwokozi wetu tumeomba. Amen. 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 Am